Hey there, I'm David from Craft, and I wanted to talk you through one of our most loved features, story mapping. Before we dive into mapping stories, let's briefly talk about our data model to help you make the most of Craft. Craft is built with layers. Product is a high-level entity that helps you organize your work into smaller, more manageable components. Sections are the main components that allow you to cluster and organize groups of features. Sections map to epics in your development tool. Features are the building blocks that form your sections and represent a user need or a product capability you plan to build. Features map to stories in your development tool. Last, subfeatures allow you to further break down features into smaller tasks or to add to-dos. Story mapping is a powerful tool that helps to define and prioritize your product's features. It's visual and easy to use, and once you're ready, we have some great tools to update your features in bulk and move them into delivery. We start by moving to the Story Mapping view. First, we'll understand the structure of the page. Everything you do on this page is relevant to a specific product, which helps you organize your features. Let's select your product and start to add more definition by breaking it down into smaller sections. As I said earlier, sections help you organize. A product is broken down into many sections, which typically represent large chunks of the product's customer experience or its functional components. Let's type a name to describe the section. Next, let's break each section down into features. Features describe the high-level user need or opportunity. Start top-down, adding more features until you feel the section is complete. We are ready to prioritize. Story mapping allows you to prioritize your features in many ways. But for now, let's use an example and assume we're sorting these features into release versions. Starting first with an MVP release, followed by versions 1 and 2. Decide which features are MVP. Drag them to the top and insert a lane after the last MVP feature. Next, add two more lanes representing version 1 and 2. Your features are now sorted into lanes, so let's assign these to a release. Clicking the checkbox to the left of the top lane selects all features between this lane and the next. Now, check out the toolbar that appears at the bottom of the page. This allows you to assign these features in bulk with a status, like importance, objectives and key results, or assign to delivery teams for a sprint or a release. Since we're planning release versions, let's assign our features to a first release and click Apply. Now, all the features under the MVP lane are assigned to that release. It's time to talk about filters. Filters are important to help focus your view, especially when you're managing lots of features. Going back to our example, let's add a release filter, allowing you to exclude the features already assigned to a release. Now you can focus on versions one and two. Crafts filters are extremely flexible, so have a play around and decide what's useful for your scenario and needs. Before I leave you to explore, here are a few quick tips. If you want to add details to an individual feature, just click on it and describe your requirements. Add story points, images, attachments, and much more. Need to add a brand new release or sprint? Click on the plus button to create a new one so it's available when you're assigning features. When ready, use Live Share to share your story map with your teams. This is a live link, so any updates you make will be reflected automatically. And finally, if you have some clever ideas but are not entirely sure what to do with it, click on the brain dump icon on the top right corner of each craft page. Log your thoughts and come back to it when you've had more time to think. Just highlight the text and convert it to a feature or another entity type within craft. It's magic. Story mapping's purpose is to help you outline, prioritize, and assign your product's features. We know you'll love using it. Let us know what you think by getting in touch via our in-app chat or just email us at support at craft.io. Have fun mapping.